The system of onboard weighting and axle load control is designed to control the load of each axle in a vehicle to measure the weight of the cargo being transported. The number of sensors installed in a truck may be from 2 to 12, depending on the transport's configuration. Pressure sensors, displacement sensors, or any other sensors with analog output may be used. Weight parameters and axle load is read by the GPS tracker via RS-485 or CAN. For air suspension, different 01 pressure sensor must be used, and for leaf spring suspension, different 02 displacement sensors or other compatible sensors. The number of sensors to be installed and its location primarily depends on the number of axles on vehicle, the number of lifting axles, and the type of suspension used. So, let's have a look at some examples of weighting systems configurators. First of all, we need to determine the number of axles in a vehicle. The nearby axles, trolleys, are considered as one conditional axis. You may find some examples in the picture. Three conditional axis, two conditional axis, four conditional axis. After it is necessary to determine the minimum number of sensors to be installed, taking into account that on each conditional axis there must be installed at least one sensor. The exception is the Tractor Plus semi-trailer configuration where no sensor is installed on the front axle. In this case, the load on the front axle is determined based on the load of the tractor's rear axle on the position of the fifth wheel coupling and the distance between the front and rear axles of the tractor. The minimum number of sensors in the weighting system imposes a number of restrictions related to the operation of the system. Firstly, the weight of the cargo and the load along the axis will be correctly displayed if the cargo in the vehicle's body is situated in such a way so that its center of gravity is in the middle between the right side of the vehicle's body and the left one. Secondly, in case of any lifting axles and trolleys, the load of the axle and the weight of the cargo when one of the axles is raised will be displayed not correctly. Let's determine the number of lifting axles. For each lifting axle, there should be installed minimum one sensor. As the center of gravity of the cargo most often is not located in the middle with respect to the right or left sides of the vehicle's body, it is recommended to install two sensors per axle. The exception is the rear axle of the tractor, truck. Here, setting the sensor on each side is not very important because the condition of the center of gravity is fulfilled. The fifth wheel is located in the middle relative to the right and left sides of the tractor. Also, there will be enough just one sensor in case if an air spring suspension, the right air spring and the left one have a common counter. Then there is no sense placing two sensors on each side. So, the optimal variant of the number of sensors for the vehicle configuration, 3-axel tractor plus 3-axel semi-trailer with one lifting axle is five pieces. Configuration 3-axel tractor or truck with one lifting axle and 2-axel semi-trailer with one lifting axle requires six sensors. Configuration 2-axel tractor or truck and three axle semi-trailer semi requires three sensors. Configuration three axle lorry without a lifting axle requires four sensors. The configuration of a two axle trailer requires four sensors. Systems installation. To install the system, you'll need an automotive toolkit, a laptop with software for the system setup installed, USB adapter Eurosense Destination 02, and truck scales. Also, to calibrate the system, it is necessary to measure the actual load when the truck is unloaded and loaded. That will require additional operations of loading and reloading. 
So let's pay attention to the installation of axolot sensors Eurosense Difference 01 and 02. Difference 01 sensor measures the pressure in the pneumatic elements of vehicle's pneumatic lines or its pneumatic circuit and transmits the data as a voltage signal to the system of onboard weighting. Output signal voltage from 0.25 to 3.8 volts. There are several ways to install pressure sensor into the air suspension. Pressure sensors installation in a factory supplied hold. Pressure sensor different 01 is installed in M16 1.5 hole without continuing the pneumatic circuit. To install the sensor by this scheme, the elements in the sensor's kit is enough. The electric connection of the sensor to difference T is done with the help of a cable with connectors at both ends. It is enough to plug it into a wall outlet of difference T. Displacement sensor Eurosense difference 02 is designed to determine the axle load or cargo weight in vehicles with leaf suspension system by measuring the distance from the chassis to the axle. Output signal voltage from 1.5 to 3.5. To install properly Eurosense Difference 02, it is necessary to find out the suspension travel from a fully loaded to an empty state. It is recommended to install the sensor so that the angular movement of its level is maximum when the vehicle is loaded from empty to full. At the same time, it is necessary to exclude the possible excess of limiting angels from minus 40 to 40 degrees. Based on this, the mounting location of the sensor should be selected as well as the length of the connecting levelers from the mounting kit. Sometimes you can estimate the suspension travel by installed bump stops. The sensor is installed using a mounting kit containing a lever, a rod with elastic elements, as well as mounting brackets and fasteners. The sensor is mounted on the vehicle frame, the lower end of the road is attached to the upsprung element of the axle using brackets from the mounting kit. To trim the rod, you must first remove the elastic element, after installation install it back. Rod is installed in the elastic elements so that the elastic elements can work in all directions. Do not install rod too deep into the rubber elements. The rod is attached via elastic elements with pins to the point of attachment of the unsprung weight and to the lever. When installing the pins into the elastic element, we recommend covering the pin with a viscose grease. When installing the sensor on the front axle, it is sometimes easier to fix the lower end of the rod in the bump stop. A hole is drilled in it and a thread with a diameter of 8 mm is cut into which the pin for fastening the rod from the mounting kit is screwed. Also, when mounting the sensor to the front axle, you can weld a corner directly onto the axle. A hole is made in the corner to which the lower end of the rod is attached. In case the spring works on the two axles at the same time, additional rod should be used. In the middle, it will be connected with a vertical measuring rod. So, we measure the average vertical displacement of the two axles. After the sensor is installed, it is connected via the cable with the system's controller Eurosense Difference T. When all the sensors are connected, we should connect all system's elements in one. The free connector of the Difference T unit must be closed with a cable plug, setting up the weighting system. When you first start the program, a login window will appear. 
To access the program, you need to click on the registration link. A registration form will open in PDF format, which must be filled out and sent to GSK Mechatronics. After you are provided with the ID and password, you must fill in the appropriate fields in the box at the entrance and click on the login button. A check mark that is in front of Remember means that the next time you start the program, the ID and password will be automatically filled with the latest data. After entering the program, you can select the interface language in the language menu. First of all, you need to connect the service adapter Eurosense Destination 02 to your notebook using a USB cable. Use the key set on Destination 02 to transfer the adapter to work with the RS485 interface. A new device should appear in the ports COM and LPT type in the device manager. We establish connection with the adapter. For this, Open the Settings, COM Port Settings menu. In the window that appears, enter the COM port number and data rate, which should be selected to be 19.200 bound. A successful connection of the program with the Eurosense Destination 02 adapter is indicated by the status bar. To establish a connection with the waiting system, it is necessary instead of Eurosense Display RS, which is connected to Eurosense T cable, to connect Eurosense Destination 02. In the type of truck drop down list in the set profile window, select the appropriate configuration. Enter the parameters indicated by the red rectangle. If you choose another type of truck, the list of required parameters will change. The next step is to set up the location of the sensors in the system, enter the serial numbers in accordance with the sensor's location in a particular place or motor transport. For this, open the corresponding window in Settings, Location of sensors in the system. Select the location and number of sensors on the Excel for your specific vehicle configuration. Then, in the addressing table in the serial number column, enter the serial numbers of Eurosense Difference T configuration blocks according to the location and click on the Setup Addresses and Load Parameters button. In case of successful setting of addresses and load and loading of parameters, the corresponding dialog box will be displayed. In case of an error in setting of address seeing and loading of parameters, an error message will be displayed. This can occur if not all configuration blocks are correctly connected or serial numbers are entered incorrectly. It should be noted that if there are no lifting axles in the truck and two sensors are placed, one for each side, then the following options for setting the location of the sensors are identical in the truck. It is assumed that all airbags, in the case of air spring suspension, on the sides have a common circuit and there is no difference in which of the pillows to put a pressure sensor. A few more customization options that will be identical. You can make sure that all the sensors in the system are connected and in good condition by opening the detector reading window in the test, detector readings menu, or by looking at the status bar at the bottom of the main configuration window. System calibration. Consider the case, truck tractor with the semi-trailer. Calibration will require bed scales, as mentioned above, to measure the actual loads of the vehicle as well as the ability to load the cargo into the vehicle, preferably before full loading. We await the trailer by Excel. Open the system calibration window and enter the load values along the axis taken from the bed scales for actual weighting. The load fields of the semi-trailer axles may contain zero at this step. Next, press the Calibrate button. We respond positively to the request for clearing the calibration tables of the census. 
After the first calibration step has been completed, two records should be displayed in the calibration tables of the sensors located on the towing vehicle. You can view the calibration table by sensors by opening a window in the setting Calibrate Tear Individual Sensor Window. Step 2. We hook up the empty semi-trailer to the trailer. We weight the road train by axle. In the system calibration window, select the next step, empty road train, step 2, and enter the loads along the axis. Then press the button calibrate. After completing step 2, another entry should be added to the calibration tables of the sensors on the trailer. Calibration tables of sensors on a semi-trailer should contain two entries each. Please note that all system sensors must be connected. Step 3. We load the semi-trailer. We weight the road train with cargo. On the right in the window, select the laden road train, step 3, and enter the loads along the axis. Then press the button Calibrate. Step 3 can be repeated if the semi-trailer is loaded gradually with increasing load. In this case, one calibration record will be added to all calibration tables and the measurement accuracy will increase. When recording the last point, set last record. After all the steps are completed, you must click the load data to sensors in the system calibration window. After loading the data into the sensors, a dialog box about the success of the operation should be displayed. Fill in the remaining data in the Set Profile window. Next, you need to open the settings, location of sensors in the system and once again click the button Configure Addresses and load the parameters. After this, the adjustment and calibration of the weighting system and Excel load control can be considered complete. After the weighting system is configured and calibrated, you can view the Excel loads and the load weight in real time. For this, open the test Axis Loads Vehicle, connecting the display. The calculation of the cargo weight and the image on the driver's display is carried out by Eurosense Display RS. To translate Eurosense Display RS into this mode of operation, it is necessary to load the firmware into it to work with the weighting system. After updating the firmware, Eurosense Display RS does not require any settings.